hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be demonstrating the solution of a shot that we uh, just posted recently so the question here was that we had to insert data in an object in two conditions first condition would that be that the field would be required only on the page layout level and the second would be that it would be required uh, at the back end on the object itself right so in which case my data would be inserted or in, in which case it won't right so we are to discuss about this solution so i have this test subject record object where i have a field of gender hobbies and the name so for my testing purpose i have just created name and hobbies i'm just leaving gender as empty and i would be setting this first required on the page layout so let let me show you so guys this is required on the page layout i'm saving this and uh, yes yeah, that's done and uh, when i create a new record it's asking me to insert the gender as well All right so what we would be doing is we would be making use of data ins insert wizard that is a native salesforce application so we'll use of that you can use of data uh, loader also or the salesforce inspector one also so either of that you could do but for uh, the learning purpose we'll go with this one i'll select the new records and i'll match by them name see the option is add new records that is insert operation update existing records is update operation add and update is the upsert operation so i'll i'm having the csv so csv is two types same csv just the names are different in one csv the name is oliver eva and william this one is the uh, after that the second records so first we'll choose the file that we would require on page layout all right next it would map the fields so see it, it wants to us to map the hobbies with hobbies so it matched and when we click on next uh, it will load us to bulk data jobs so the operation here is upsert they performed the status there it is closed upsert why because if that's an insert or that's an upsert so uh, up to that idly we had chosen insert only uh, so let's see what is the result so when we make a field required on the page layout uh, that field gets uh, inserted even though the gender is required but if we try to update that record we won't be able to write now what we will do is we'll remove that field from the required from the page layout level and i just wanted to show you one uh, unique thing so i did this i saved this right now my page layout looks like only name required right and now what i would do is i would set this gender to uh, required and now you see the dynamic behavior of salesforce so it's taking up some time yep it's saved now and when i go to my page layouts so what i'm seeing here is guys i'm seeing the gender automatically came required because this is from the field level that we did right and there is no option to uncheck it now let's run our job again by going to the data import and again i'll do the same uh, task uh dragging the csv so on field select as next map the hobbies one with hobbies next now guys what you got 
you got an error in here only you need to map the required field gender you specified a column that will contain the name of the owner but you have not mapped the owner field right mm, so let's 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 go back to previous will not map it and we'll just add it uh, add our csv okay and uh, this then we try and hit next you need to map the required field gender so that's why if you are inserting via data loader data inspector or any third party tool or let's say for the salesforce inspector also you would get an error that this field is required and you cannot insert this field you would get the list of error logs if you try with data loader or the salesforce inspector in your uh, standard salesforce application that is this data insert visit this would be uh, given beforehand only so yeah you could check in here a uh, simple one level testing for some records you can do so as to have your data accuracy as well now a question for you all would be like if we have a native application like salesforce inspect uh, data uh, insert wizard then why are we making use of tools other tools why not we go with this so what are the limitations of this or are there no limitations for your salesforce data import wizard so yeah would be waiting for your comments and thanks a lot would be meeting in the next video